So you install uh, Plasticity on your computer and you like to start doing a nice uh, 3D model. So there are few different ways to do it and uh, what I'm trying to focus on is on the techniques which you can use uh, to realize a complex model in uh, Plasticity. Uh, typically you'll see it's easy to do different parts like the wheels or the hubs uh, but uh, when you want to have a complex model it's uh, it's a little bit more uh, challenging and uh, interesting in the same time so what I prefer uh, obviously if it's something uh, which you can have reference uh, use the references and uh, Plasticity have that option to actually add the references to import uh, different um, pictures or whatever you need for a reference. You typically go here and uh, import the document. And you can uh, use that uh, picture or uh, image uh, for uh, building uh, your model following the lines on that picture. Um, the other thing which I prefer is to start with the big uh, body because uh, uh, in plasticity you're gonna use a lot of uh, cuts and fillets. So you know you take the big box and uh, from there you start carving out different parts. Uh, Plasticity at this moment is actually not supporting uh, instances. It's going to be a large file if you multiply a complex object multiple times. Like uh, in this case, I have eight wheels and that creates a large uh, file. So I prefer to do only one and do all those multiplications at the end. Basically, you will just copy that element a few times. So what I'm doing, I'm doing the big body and after that starting carving to have the big shape. Um, for the wheels, you uh, create uh, a round shape first and after that you can create all those uh, rims and uh, uh, tire threads and you copy that uh, with a radial uh, array. And with the hubs in a similar way, you can have a cylinder and after that few, few uh, fillets and carving out different uh, rivets. Um, and one, one, after one is finished, it's fine. You can uh, not copy just to save on the memory of your computer. Uh, I'm working on both uh, Windows and Mac and uh, I notice uh, because I have more RAM on Windows, it goes more smoother on Windows, but Mac runs perfectly as well, as long as you have enough RAM. Uh, so after you have the main body, which is uh, this one, uh, you can do the wheels if you prefer, and after that you start adding details one by one. Um, you can add different hatches, the turret, and the stuff on the back here for the exhaust and so on so that's how usually i'm doing you know start with the big parts stuff which are easily uh, done uh, in big chunks and after that you start detailing uh, i know other artists they prefer to have more flexibility they they don't want to constrain it in a certain way so they prefer to do uh, maybe starting with with a detail and after that construct the whole model and it's, there are different ways to do it uh, what i'm doing also uh, i prefer to group uh, different solids so different parts uh, in a certain way um, plasticity do not have layers they use solids and for the construction when you want to have a reference uh, you use uh, different shapes uh, what I notice on my case, I prefer to not keep the shapes. Those are more like temporary references. And uh, with the pictures or the image references, usually you can import that and they appear here as a references as well. So in a nutshell, that's how uh, typically you do. You know, you, you start with uh, a big body and carve it out. 
and after that you add the details.